in here to uh, level these trucks up a concrete pitch so that the water will run off of it. A little cover with corn dust. Drive down and check on the lagoon here. They're getting that down some. It's down a couple feet anyway. But they're lightly staffed too. With us still doing corn, we got half the team working on corn and the other half working on manure. So we'll head to the field and uh, I've got to service the combine up, just get it full of fuel. And I'm going to grab the tester out of it and go to a couple more fields and check them. Got to see where I can go after the field that I'm on now. The field that I'm on now is on like 20 acres or 25 or something like that. We broke in that last night. I did one dump out of there. We got the truck loaded that we were working on and uh, we called it a night. It was about quarter after 10. When we pulled out of the field, I didn't hit the feed this morning. It's about 6.30 right now. So we'll get to the field and get going. Well, it just got greased up, fueled up. I have part of a grain tank on. Put, the rest, put this little bit of what I have in the tank, the grain tank that is, on truck 12, I'm going to pull up the um, grain buggy, I'm going to take the rest of the fuel off the pickup, and then I'm going to, then I'm going to go and uh, grab some samples, uh, I've only got part of a tank on here. This corn's starting to get a little dry on this field. I went one time up across the field to get a uh, grain tank or a, a grain buggy load last night, and uh, I was getting some samples out of it, and it was getting down around 24 percent, which is is uh, a little too dry for the bag. But I got to make a blast up across the center of it here when I get back from sample in a couple other fields and see if that moisture is going to stay there. This was the outside uh, six rows of the field that was drier so I can't quite trust that right now but if the field is uh, if the corn is going to stay dry on the whole field we're going to have to switch over to the harvest order because it's getting too, it'll be too dry for the that tank is empty. Shut the control off here and idle down. I'll 
we'll swing this out of the we'll swing this out of the way. Pull that green buggy up and uh, get that full of fuel, or at least uh, pump over what's what's on the um, pickup there. It's only a Oh, that's a hundred. Yeah, it's a hundred gallon tank. The combine would have taken most of it, so I don't suspect there's too much more fuel in that. But I've got the testers in the um, pickup. Yeah, we're just getting underway here. We did uh, that field way down there. There's an open ditch divide these three fields on uh, this side is hay field and the corn strip on either side so we did that field way down there last night and I went one time down around this field here this field is 26 acres so we're gonna get into this now I've got to check the moisture on it we're thinking it might be getting a little bit too dry for the bulk so going to get things underway here now so everything's fully serviced we're full of fuel and we're ready to go well we'll do these headlands off first on this uh, south end and we're going to make a path right up through the middle we're going to verify whether or not this moisture uh, is as dry as what the outside rows were. The rows on the uh, outside were quite dry. Got a bit of a problem. I took in a couple of stones last night and uh, locked up the beater bar from picking up down corn. Um, I just grabbed a couple more now. I cleaned out the stone trap and some corn that was down just back there. So we're going to get up in the uh, combine now and make sure there's none of them that have made it past the stone trap. So we're getting down into the... Now we're in the straw walker area here now. Ugh. The last night... Last night we had a rock caught. Actually had two of them caught right down in here it was actually over on that side in between this panel and this beater bar so we're gonna go ahead and walk on crawl on out of here let myself over the top of the walkers here now this machine has four um, okay there's four straw walkers in this machine four of them wide in here 
So. We crawled way up front there, and this has four straw walkers that shake the crap out of everything, and then the kernels and whatnot of corn drop down through your your holes, and it walks the trash up over the top. So we're gonna crawl out of here. I don't see any stones in there. Put that down. Clean the stone trap out, and this time around I got this booger out of there, and there's another one here. Mm, that there's another one. Well, you can clearly see this one had been in there, which we don't need to be taking in stone like that. We can kick this one out. Right here, just pull this lever down. You clean this whole area here out. So I cleaned it out already, and I was surprised to find um, this guy in there. I thought there was another one here somewhere. I peeled him out. Well. there this was the other one that was in there I mean these stones ain't just stones that I'm picking up for the purpose of the video they were they come out of the stone trap so I've got to just say the heck with this down corn and uh, leave it there because we cannot afford to be down broke down that is Yeah, well, we got a minor breakdown here. We had a this chain come off, had a master link that just the master link broke, is all. So I got lucky. Just gotta feed this in through here. Oh, I don't want to take that shroud off. Actually, I'm gonna go over to the top. I'm gonna feed it down through the top. Get it out through the bottom easier. Now I'll have to take that shroud off. Through here, like this, I think. Up and over.
Alright, there's that. See how she runs. So we double checked our numbers here. Um, I know that that chain has not had any links taken out of it. Uh, we could lay that chain alongside it, but it's actually going to be longer than this one. So uh, Jason's got his chain tool on there. He's going to go ahead and uh, pop the pins out of that. I'll go get a master link, Jay. What this tool has is a uh, pin on it, and it's actually pressing, pressing the, um, the the clips out of the chain. So, all right, Jay's got that apart. He carried it down here, so that means I have to carry it back up there. That's oh, a, that's a heavy one. That's a big girl. Build a freaking stand for all that chain. So, this is what we have to do this winter is build a stand for all that roller chain. So, put that on the chalkboard. Alright, so we got this all made up. Got two connecting links, two half links, in case we lose something. Alright, this chain drives the grain tank unloading um, part of the combine here. And what this does is this pulley right there off the engine spins all the time. And now when you turn on the grain tank unload, this cylinder pushes down and it draws these belts tight and then that's what unloads the uh, grain tank so we're gonna get unloading here in a second we've got to put a cotter pin in this other half link here um, 
the package of half links that <laughs> was missing that cotter pin. So I got one of the other guys bringing me a uh, cotter pin now. All right, we got that all together. Now we're just going to back up to that green buggy and we're going to offload this. for the night we've got all the trucks loaded uh, two of them are back to the barn backed inside John and I are gonna take the last two truckloads home it's about quarter after 10 Thursday night um, the last little field that we finished up was um, only about four and a half acres or so it wasn't all that big but um, it does lay on wet ground we're kind of glad to get it out of here um, we didn't make hardly any bit of a mess here's what the road looks like here now so that's all nice and clean uh, we didn't make a mess of the guy's driveway which that was a concern of mine um, dried out rather nicely today and it's going to rain tomorrow afternoon and it's going to make things messy again so with that being said folks that's it for uh, this video if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button if this video is something you like uh, go ahead and like the video and leave me a comment down below if you have any comments Thanks a lot, folks. We'll catch you at the next video.